What's up, guys? We're Kat. Hey, Kat. We're at this restaurant called Venice in the old port of Montreal, and I'm gonna start the vlog here because Catherine and I are going to a Sheeran tonight. I'm so excited. But uh, we spent the whole day at the spa, and I did vlog because you can't, like, can't have cameras and stuff on you, but it was so relaxing and so fun and just like so nice. Um, the best massage of my life, like actually. And uh, yeah, we're just finishing up our food. I had a really good salad. We had some edamame and some sweet potato fries. And now we're gonna head to the concert. Listen.
And it was like the last time we recorded for the album. It was one of them. I, 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 before, before when I had an iPhone, I used to record on like the voice memo thing. And uh, I, I recorded this song back in 2015, like early, early. I just completely forgot that I wrote it. And then as the album was being handed in, they were like, have you got any more songs? And I looked and I found it. And we recorded it. And that was on the album. But me and PJ put it together and we were all get that.
Lin Lin one. Ah! I'm gonna hit these <laughs> girls. Oh my. Catherine. Well, they need to get out of the way. <laughs> Why is he laughing? Go. Is he laughing at this guy's laughing at us? What? That's okay. <laughs> Listen, we just. <laughs> as long as. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. He's like, I, heard, I saw you the whole time. She's got the microphone and you're dancing. When we did not know the answer and I missed the way you make me feel. Over the castle, castle, castle on the hill. <laughs> yeah, I get it. When I heard the first oh, few drums, right. I was like, oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> Not drums. No, I seriously, the song started playing, and I started <laughs> bawling. <laughs> I can't. It's like too much. It was an emotional roller coaster. Hanging on the words you say, and I've been known to get my own and jump in it harder than ten thousand. Ed Sheeran is done. That was amazing. It was so good. Sorry, I was not filming my face. He is just like incredible. I was blown away. I've never seen him live before. Um, I have met him once, but all we said was hi and bye. And that was it. And it was like really short. So, and it was what, two years ago or something or a year and a half ago. So I was like, I wonder if you'd remember me, but clearly not. <laughs> Dan and I are heading to, we have a, an appointment in the morning and then we are going for lunch with Cat Bell downtown and then we have like a launch event uh, with It Cosmetics at the Ritz. So I'll see if I can film there. I'm not sure. I don't know how the rules are. Like I've never been to one of these things before. So we'll see. But I want to show you guys my outfit because I love it. I have this top from Princess Polly. This D necklace. Actually, these jeans are also Princess Polly. So I'll, sh I'll give you a better shot. Princess Polly and revolve shoes i love these jeans they like actually fit around my waist and my butt they're a little baggy here like a little crotchy but i'm sure with a few washes it'll be fine and i'm not wearing a bra so i'm sorry if that like offends any of you guys but i really um don't care in real life <laughs> Guys, I got Dan a few things. If so, you want to check out everything, you should uh, go watch the video on Dan's, well, me and Dan's channel, but so new jeans, cute. New jean jacket, new Wolverine t-shirt, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sweater and a shirt. Sweater. Okay, don't look though, guys. Go look at the, the video. <laughs> but what I wanted to show was the things that I got today. So I went to the It Cosmetics launch and I got a few goodies. I got a thing from Jo Malone and something from Gucci. So from It Cosmetics, the launch is happening the 28th of August, I believe. So they're gonna be in all Sephora stores at that time. Oh look, goodies, brushes and foundations. Oh, that's so nice of them, honestly. Holt rent through. I got a Jo Malone because uh, I need another travel cologne perfume thing and mine is now currently discontinued. So I got this new scent, which I had a sample of and I used it all up and I had like four samples and I use them every single day. I don't know why I find it smells like fall. Okay, so this is English Pear and Freesia. Smells so good. And I think they gave me another sample of it. Then from Gucci, I got... I love this box and bag. Classic, timeless, it's so nice, guys. Oh my goodness. I love it, and I love this box. Like, that's so nice. And of course, the duffel bag that it comes in. I just took it off, but so nice. This is my dinner tonight. I made myself, it's like this vegetarian herb wrap thing. Well, I didn't make this, but I have this. And then I made myself fresh guacamole with avocado, ch um, not chia seeds, red pep, oh my gosh, I can't speak. Red chili pepper flakes, cayenne pepper, 
actual red pepper and some spinach and a little bit of salt and pepper and that's all me when i wake up <laughs> to look i'm gonna get ready to go for a run and then i'm heading to my last well my final i think appointment for my uh rosacea that i filmed two vlogs ago um if you guys want to check that out i'll have a link down below and then I'm heading downtown to Kat's place to get ready and we're gonna shoot today together. I have to film some outfits, take some pictures, and I'm doing a video for you guys. Is it going up this weekend or next weekend? I'm not sure yet. And then I'm going for dinner with Kat and her boyfriend on his rooftop. We're gonna have like a little barbecue thing. He lives like downtown Montreal, so it's gonna be really fun. It's a nice day, finally, in the summer. So I'm gonna get ready to go for a run and pack my crap and head out the door. So guys, the fast, the fast, the past few days have been a little bit of a fail with vlogging. I forgot my freaking camera at home. And I mean, to be completely honest, like I went downtown yesterday to shoot with Kat and it was raining like almost the whole time. So we could barely get anything done and when we were shooting, like, I wouldn't have had time to vlog anyways. And then we went to her boyfriend's apartment for barbecue, and none of them want to be on camera, so I wouldn't have been able to vlog there. But today is a brand new day. It's Saturday, and I'm finishing up the video that I want to go up tomorrow. It's just, like, I have a lot of editing of it to do, and I want it to go up tomorrow around 1 p.m., so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it can still go up at that time. If you guys don't really realize, I've switched around my like uploading schedule. I used to upload twice a week on my main channel every Wednesday and every Saturday. And it was great and I really liked it, but I felt like I was just throwing out content to like have you guys like be able to watch something. But I wasn't actually genuinely loving the videos. I was just like kind of doing it just to do it, which is not bad. Like to be honest, I don't hate filming and i didn't hate it it was just like oh my gosh like i need to have a video on wednesday and i would get so stressed over it and it would consume me and it was just like getting really unhealthy so it took a lot of like brain power to teach myself to not care about that kind of stuff because it was not good for me mentally so i started uploading once a week and sometimes i'll do twice a week uh if i have a lot of time with all the traveling and stuff that was going on it wasn't great but now that i'm home for the rest of the summer no more traveling i think i will probably get back into it eventually once the ball starts rolling again i've only been home now for a week so i'm really gonna kind of take it slow and see how it goes and um i don't know i've been like really happy and loving the content that i've been putting out lately so i'm just like in a really good spot mentally and like happy about it and i feel like you guys are really enjoying it i know it's like frustrating with the whole new like youtube algorithm and stuff not everyone gets to see my videos pop up on their sub feed so that's why you have to have your notifications turned on it's kind of frustrating like especially I'm still a viewer on YouTube, so like I still subscribe to people and it's frustrating when I don't even know that when my favorite YouTubers post a video because like I don't see it and then all of a sudden I'll just like check out their channel and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I missed the last three videos. Like, it's a little ridiculous, but nothing I can do about it. But today I'm finishing up my last two outfits for the video because I'm doing a lookbook. A summer lookbook and uh i'm wearing my rollerblades that were sent to me i thought that would be kind of like a funny thing to put in the video uh really casual outfits really fun just nothing intense like i definitely had nice outfits when i was in the old port which is i mean it looks like paris so it kind of goes with the vibe and then these ones i did more bohemian the other day now it's just gonna be more like casual what you can wear like out rollerblading or like to a park or something i don't know i just like my styles all over the place lately so i figured i would just kind of throw it all in there and see how it goes i'm really excited for that video to go up um i'm sure it will already be up by the time this video is live so if you guys want to check it out just make sure to go to my main channel i'm doing a giveaway with dan on our vlogging channel like our our couple's vlogging channel so if you guys want to go enter that i'll have a link down below for you guys to go check out if you guys want to enter you can win like a bunch of makeup and products and stuff so yeah okay guys <laughs> this is me trying to rollerblade whoa i have like no idea what i'm doing oh my god 
This might not end well. Why are these so big on me too? Like, they asked for my size, but they're like massive. Are they big? Well, I'm a size seven and these say size seven, but they're so big on me. Oh well. <laughs> oh my God. Do you want to go and film them? <laughs> yeah. Is that, that's your outfit? Yep. Oh my God. Pizza, cheat day. So good. I got my nails done this morning and look how nice they are. I don't know if you can see. These are my real nails. These are not acrylics or gel. It's just shellac. That was the type of nail polish that's put on top. And she filed them to look like this. How nice are they? She's awesome. By the way, for those of you that are wondering, I go see Kayla at Lin Giroux and she's the best. So I definitely recommend it. Like I cannot believe my nails look like this. They were getting so long and I, I can't believe I never did shellac before. Like I never knew that was a thing. But anyways, Dan, do you want to explain where we're going? We are going to Ikea to get some furniture. We want to get a coffee table for downstairs, like where the couch is. And um, what's the other thing you're looking at? Oh, a desk chair. Mm -hmm. And what else do you think we need? Well, we can get a new plant now. Oh, right. Yeah, new plant. Because uh, our other ones are dead. And what else? Just look around. Maybe a TV stand. Yeah, maybe if they have something nice. So we don't use the stupid uh, basket thing. <laughs> it's raining today. But it's been nice the past few days. Yeah, we got lucky, but today is a crummy, crummy day. Yeah. So I was gonna. Did you just fart? It was a fake fart. Oh. It was like a like a. <laughs> I was gonna film today, but the weather looks like this, so I can't. I'm gonna film tomorrow. And then Tess and Pat get in this week. I'm so excited. So yeah. Okay guys, we got some stuff. This is a coffee table that we got from Ikea. We're gonna put that downtown, downtown, <laughs> downstairs. And then we have two boxes here which are bedside tables for upstairs. We got this carpet for underneath the desk. And I think we're gonna put some like books and stuff here. Um, and then we just need a chair, but, and a MacBook. <laughs> like an actual desktop computer. And blinds. Blinds would be good. What's that noise? I'm uh, wiping the sink. Oh. oh. My god, that sounded so weird. Yeah, it goes like. Ooh. Um, so I'm excited to see what this looks like. It's like a little circle with glass, and then these are pretty neat, so. Uh, can't wait to open those to see what they look like. And I think that's all we got today. Did we get anything else, Dan? Oh, we got two new plants. This one. And that one over there because our other ones died, unfortunately, because we didn't know how to take care of them. But now we actually researched what we needed to do. And so hopefully they don't die this time. And then we also got these seat cushions to make it a lot more comfortable to sit down at the stools because they were just like hard and wooden before. Dan and I also just worked out. We worked out late today because um, I had an appointment for my nails like I showed you guys this morning. And then uh, we were just busy all day, but I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you want to see more vlogs. I love you guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!